Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Insane Gamers, and this is part 52 of Need Sleep Most Wanted 2005. And this episode we're going to be versing Webster. So let's challenge him. And what we have here is a sprint, a speed trap, and then another sprint. This is the first one where you have three events. I never really liked doing uh, versing Webster, but it's a thing, and luckily we won't have any copyright issues here with this music, because it's owned by my YouTube movie channel network, which is convenient. Most of the soundtrack for this game actually is. Which is nice. And you'll, uh, uh, in Earth's Last Protectors, if you're interested in that series, um, you'll hear me use a lot of the music that my MCN has the rights to use. And it works. Now, because the problem with uh, when you're wrestling Blacklist Ripper, they have a uh, much better AI, usually, than standard aggressors uh, to make them more challenging. So, if you take a shortcut, they're more likely to take that shortcut. Like, it's almost guaranteed. Although they are sometimes dumb and try and overtake like that, apparently. <laughs> and fail so they crash into a wall. Um, I wonder if this was like Midnight Club where you didn't have a set track. I never really particularly liked that idea. But, yeah. Also, they apparently spin out like that. Interesting. I do feel sorry for all the random pedestrians I crash into though, I, I really should exchange my insurance information. But I'm in a race, so no I'm not. And I'm not intending to hit them as <laughs> well. Oh god, I just feel awful. Well there's one race that I really hate where you, if you turn right there, you just, you fail. You have to restart the race, and I can't remember if it is versus Webster. I think it is a blacklist race. I remember always hating that as a kid. I'm five seconds ahead. I know I keep talking about ooh when I used to play the game when I was younger. Yeah, it's because I used to play this game a lot when I was younger. And it's just nostalgic. I don't know if I should go into other nostalgic games. Who knows? If you're interested, well, I kind of am with Ratchet and Clank, aren't I? But when that series comes back, when uh, this game and whatever, uh, <laughs> whatever, when <laughs> when Gran Turismo is done as well, uh, we'll move on to Speed Trap now. Which hmm, I never really like Speed Traps. I uh, don't like don't I? Um, Go. Use nearly all our nets getting up to 100 mile an hour because that's that was a good idea. Nineteen. Not enough for Webster. Nope. Webster got. <laughs> Webster got 119. I'm gonna have to, sorry, I have to restart this. There was no way I was gonna be able to get straight ahead on that one. I, I was just gonna crash and burn. I'm gonna keep all my nitrous then. There's no way you can get 119 on that corner. That's not legit. 105, maybe, but. 119? No, no way. You show me someone that's not an AI like that, where they have the ability to, you know, kind of cheat because they're AI and you want to know their legit speed. Show me someone getting 119 on that con. You'll never find it. Oh, now I'm in second again. I hate, I especially hate this speed traveler. 
Because they always put the speed traps in the worst place possible. So you just can't get speed. And on one of the, um, one of the few, uh, one of the latest episodes, uh, Space Red says she lean kind. Rob, you're so good at racing games. Not when you have events like this, I'm not. That's, that's not legit. No. No. Sorry. My, my favourite is uh, when people say, there's a, there's a sharp difficulty curve when you, uh, once you beat Earl. No, 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 no. The, the sharp difficulty curve is not when you beat Earl. It, it's when you beat Ming. Not really, if you get it, Ming's vehicle. 111. Well, that went well. I think my only plan of action really is to... Well, it, my plan of action was to stay behind Webster. That plan... Not really happened. I have it. 105 mana. Beat that Webster. And I had a crash and went literally to zero. Some of these corners that this game puts for races are not like they work when you're when you've got slower cars, but not when you have Lamborghinis and stuff. It's like EA develop the game. Well, like, oh, you won't you only get up to this. You won't even go further. Because you see some of the, not really the tracks, but the, the, the roads that you get later. It's why I don't generally race on uh, when the cops are after me. I don't, I don't stay on I didn't even realise there was one more speed trap. But we're only 40% really? I thought the race was nearly over by the fact that no speed traps are spawning and they aren't randomly generated obviously yeah because what you do is you put a speed camera here and that wasn't legit what, what did I do did he also crash or was he just going so slow it was yeah the AI is sometimes really dumb in this area which you can use to your advantage I used to outrun the cops all the time here, but sometimes, sometimes it doesn't work. Can we go? You can, you can tell I get angry at the game. You can tell when I'm angry. See, only like 86 around the corner. Not quick enough at all. See, Bubs has caught up. Well, not that much, but he has caught up a lot. That was, I hope I did my own shift there. Sometimes I feel like doing that if I. Because I normally have it on automatic. I know. You're not a true gamer. You're not a true car. Racing game enthusiast. If you play on automatic. No, screw it. I just don't like shifting gears. It's the worst. I've never been good at it in a game. I always fail. I would never be able to do it online. I don't particularly like drag races, but I do them anyway. anyway. Look, I won on the third try. Total speed 800 miles. Yes. Okay. Let's finally do the last sprint event. And 
hopefully get Webster's car. This is like the same, the same track, just without the speed camera. If it is, I'm, I can't really remember it, but if it is the same, I think it is the same track. It, it certainly seems like it at this moment in time. If it is, wow, you are so lazy. Yeah. This is lazy game design at its best. At its most prominent. I mean, we just did this. If this is literally the exact same track, which I believe it is. Wow. Which have like one difference right at the end. Think about the thing about not having speed traps is that you at least break at least I break for corners this time. Really, uh, but the AI is also not. It's better than it normally is because it. It doesn't have to work out what speed it needs to get to beat me. So it can put all of its processing power on trying to beat me instead of working out legitimate speeds of what it, what's possible rubber banding wise without making it seem like it's cheating. I have no idea if any of what I just said is true. It seems true. Yeah, after a while you kind of get a bit bored of this game. Everyone here... Everyone in that minivan is dead. And the, and secondly, what I was talking about firstly. Everyone in that that just saw me probably... Cast themselves. Also I'm going sideways. Great. This went well. I'm gonna turn down here though. See, Webster crashed as well. Not good for him. Good for me though, because I'm winning again. After that crash. I, I tried to avoid the tree because I, I thought I'm going to hit that tree again and I did in the last bit. And just cocked it off immensely. Move. Guy in the white van just like died. Everyone in. The, how, what? This game's a 12, right? I mean, if I'm in PSD version, like 3 plus. It's like. Yeah, everyone nearly dies if you crush into them. You just don't see it. That seems like it's... <laughs> you know, appropriate for kids. Shove the AI out. Yeah, shove the AI out the way. When we went through that earlier, we were doing like last rift, we were doing like 213, right? We were only doing like 195, but not quick enough. And this was a stupid plan because now the game put a lot of trucks out. Now I'm going to do a shift down the first gear just as I cross the line. Oh, well, I didn't get a first, but I got to second. I just wanted to do something strange. I beat you, Webster. Defeated. Congratulations, well, I earned an achievement. Not that I care, because this is on the second group profile. So I did beat this game on my main profile. That would go free. Extra impact. That main, that one is his car. Get his car. 
But JV is our next one. Joe Vega. I was looking good team player. Realized logically, all right. So you see this, you, right? You, you see that car. I mean, truly, Rockport must have a massive street racing prop. So you, you think, if you saw the pursuit on TV or something, shut up, bros. I don't care. Uh, if you saw like the pursuit on the telly, on the telly, yeah, fresh. <laughs> if you saw the pursuit on the TV, surely you'd notice the intensely modified cars if your neighbour owned it, for example, Joe Vega, Where's your neighbour? Considering he apparently lives in a village, you would you would know that car and you would probably snitch on him. Look at all these messages I just haven't listened to. I'll meet you. The first one I haven't listened to is I'll meet you there. Let's listen to it. Which is the first message you ever get. Anyway, yes, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I've been Robin from the Insane Games. Next episode, we'll be obviously doing the races. Uh, next two episodes, probably. I'm still level four. Uh, for shoot, apparently. Which I suppose is good if I want to get my bounty up, but. Yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching. And ta -ra.